okay, but super quickly. The voice is AI generated, and I was previously using Amazon but now I'm on Azure that has voices with higher fidelity, and it also gives a nice interface for creating whole dialogues. I'm using Anna's profile. And that's how she originally sounds. Hello, it's me and I hate three things. Ubuntu, humans, and humans that use Ubuntu. Obviously, that needs some improvements, but I only use SSML editing, first to save time, and second because I stream it on a game engine, so I can't post edit. I change the intonation, that affects the expression and the timbre of the voice, to something like that, but it depends to the content really. I also change the rate, making it much faster than the original. And finally, I reduce the pitch, so it sounds a bit boishy and smoother. Okay, let's see. Hello, it's me and I hate three things. Ubuntu, humans, and humans that use Ubuntu. Hmm, that was a bit random, but you get the idea. Oh, and one last thing, I'm using a large lexicon with various stuff for creating custom words and sounds. Eventually I'll go for a custom voice, but right now it costs like 4,000 euros, so I'm skipping. But, did you know that Germany is a much bigger country that you may think? Analysis. Germany is a much bigger country than many people. Oh, a nice tip is that you can also record the text instead of typing it, and then send it to a speech-to-text program, and assuming that will work good enough, then get the transcription and send it for a cute rewrite on ChatGPT, that is so super at it. And don't be worried if that looks like a lots of work because you can create tasks on Azure to automate everything. The character is made on Vroid Studio, because when I started I didn't know how VR was working, and probably it will take you months for modeling a character from scratch with proper rigging and animations, not to mention the perfect a hoag. Ha! <laughs> but you can give a try if you want, there is lots of tooling nowadays in Blender to help you out. Which you'll need anyway for accessorize your character. And of course there are add-ons both for Unity and Unreal Engines to import VR models. I'm using Unity because it's much faster to set up, and the scenes are basically cinematics and gameplay and only few are actually VR. I use Mixamo and a couple of other libraries for motions, but we're also working with my cousin on an anime mocap project. And by the way, since I switched to Blender for video editing, I so hate Blender's lag on playback. Also, that was temporary made in 5, after I accidentally destroyed her first house. But me will soon get a new studio apartment with a kitchen and a bathroom, built on a top of an asteroid, most obviously. And also obviously made in Blender. Another thing I want to work is on a me chatbot, trained on her YouTube data, so she can answer to you, and blame Ubuntu and praise Rust all day long. But unfortunately I don't think I have the time to even start. And not to forget, I will soon move to my very own YouTube channel.